for most of us, Meghan Markle's expressions set off alarm bells in our heads. The reason for this is simple. Oftentimes, her expressions seem very false because they very likely are, or they do not fit with what she's saying or doing. This is our instinctive mind aiming to protect us from someone who could have bad intentions and be trying to hide them. It's a natural human instinct. But on the flip side, so much of the media and so many people defend her or think that she's just being singled out. So when she is so obviously showing so many of these indicators that will set off alarm bells in our mind, why aren't people seeing it? Well, that's what we're going to cover. We're going to talk about two main reasons and also how we could protect ourselves from these influences. Number one is the media. I am not a person who's going to say there's some conspiracy with the media. I think there's very particular logical reasons why the media tends to have very particular opinions on things, particularly the U.S. media, which has given Meghan Markle and Harry so much attention and so much going on their side. Number one is us versus them. Meghan has been really throwing an us versus them story out there and the media is for profits the media needs to get views for their organizations respective organizations to continue to exist if media was entirely logical and rational every story would be about the dangers of unsafe driving and automotive accidents and how we could make that safer. That's something we can all agree on, and statistically, that's where the real danger lies. But unfortunately, humans are not fully logical. So that is number one. Number two is people who work in media tend to have similar educational backgrounds. They get liberal arts degrees. This is in the US I'm talking about. But something to realize with many of these degrees is it goes back several generations of professors where they learn from a professor who lived with their parents and then went to college and then they got a master's degree and then they worked in the college and then they taught a professor who had the same life experience. So you have several generations of professors where they've just been coming up with ideas within the university environment and teaching them to 18 to 21 year olds who are just believing what they say. They don't have much real life experience, no matter how wise they may seem. So you have people who go and get educated in this environment and they get particular beliefs about the world. They go out into the world and they look for that. This is a concept called persuasion. There's a really interesting study done where they just had two groups of students and they told each group respectively one group this professor is stern but fair he's a great guy the other group they said this is a mean nasty professor of course they had the professor go up give the exact same lecture where they were stern but fair and whatnot and the group who was told positive things rated the professor positively the group that was told negative things rated him negatively so that is a natural psychology concept so you have people in college being educated by generations of these ideas they go out into the world and then these ideas color what they see and the way they see the world so the media members of the media for this reason not that it's like a conspiracy tend to see the world in a particular way how can we inoculate ourselves against this so we can see the world more rationally very simply look up primary sources of information there was a famous athlete who was accused of a crime and I would hear so many people talking about it, reading various hot takes, when online we could find the original transcript of the police report and the interview with the athlete right after he was accused. I just read that. Could spend 10 minutes reading that or looking up real statistics, not quoted statistics that are so often misleading. So look up the primary sources. That way you can know for sure that the information that you have is the closest to the facts. There is not a lens that you are being fed it through and it saves a lot of time. So it's the ultimate win, win, win. 
look up there's so many sources of pure information pure facts if you do not go through news networks and you just look for transcripts uh, and um, statistics the next factor is another unfortunate one which i believe that the massive amounts of scrolling through the internet for example instagram and tiktok i don't know if that's even called the internet nowadays but that especially in young people is lowering their ability to read expressions by the way if you guys find this information helpful please comment and if you could share it some of you have been sharing this on social media thank you so much and if you do that comment so i could say thank you a few people have been doing that's great but anyways the social media is it is taking away people's ability to focus and their ability to socialize and read expressions so i think it's hard for some people to see the alarm bells in Meghan markle's expressions now a simple way to fix that is having brief moments away from the phone maybe go for a hike if you want to have your phone for safety you could turn it off when i was a kid and this is a cool one if you have children for yourself yourself my father made me and my sister do tv free tuesday where he'd unplug all the tvs starting when we were really young and we hated it of course um, we'd be like oh no 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 but then he would hand us some books he'd say read and it was so helpful because for me now it's very easy to say you know what i'm not gonna watch tv i'm gonna read all day or i'm going to work on a project or i'm gonna focus on something because from a young age my brain had that blueprint so even a small amount several hours or a day even if we're having that phone most of the other time can just give i believe young people that blueprint so it's easier to step away when they're older when they understand the benefits of having those breaks in order to keep those natural abilities we have to read people and to focus so i highly recommend that thanks for watching see you guys in the next video